What's up guys, this is Chronic Rush and welcome to a brand new episode of my FIFA 14 World Cup Squad Builder Series where basically I'm going to be building every squad for every nation participating in this summer's World Cup um, showing you the squad builder, showing you the goals and give you an overview of some of the players in the team the players you should get, the players you should kind of avoid and uh, just kind of get more and more squad builders going, more views of players and just make it better for you guys on FIFA, so choosing teams, making better squad builders and stuff like that. So guys, today we're going to be moving on to the World Cup squad of Ivory Coast, the um, African nation. Obviously, it's a fantastic team on FIFA. I think it's probably one of the best African nations on FIFA, in my opinion. You've also got the likes of Cameroon and Ghana, uh, but on FIFA, personally, I think Ivory Coast is way up there. You've got plenty of informed players, team the season, Yaya and stuff like that. So uh, let's get straight into the team and the squad builder part of the video. So we're going to start off with the formation. We're playing the 4-2-3-1, that second version. Works fantastically well in FIFA. Definitely, definitely recommend it. Um, I've used it a number of times. Just the way it's got a decent amount of attack. I like the way they got the wingers now in this second version. And if you've got a decent two decent CDMs, decent striker with a decent work rate. It worked fantastically well. So let's get straight into the squad here. I'm going to quickly set the parameters to Ivory Toast. Um, speed things up here. Ivory Coast, where is it? Where is it? Scroll down. There we go. Ivory Coast. And we can start off with the goalkeeper. It's going to be this player here. Copa plays in the Belgian Pro League. 73 rated player. And um, he's probably one of the better silver keepers in the Belgian Pro League personally. Um, 72 diving. 83 reflexes. 74 handling. Works fantastically well and definitely, definitely recommend him. Picked him up with the glove chemistry style on as well. And that worked even better in that goalkeeping position. Moving out to the right back here. First began here's a goal player. It's going to be this player here. Abue. 76 rated player. Plays with Galatasaray in the Turkish League. And I decided to go through him over the other right back and I decided to go just because he's got 83 pace and he also looked like he got better well-rounded stats high attacking and high defensive work rates also work quite well because um, he also did help and go and support the attack sometimes moving on to the two center backs here first we're gonna have here is gonna be this play here Kone plays for the French League um, I'm not too sure what the team was I think it's FC Laurent um, but uh, 64 pace not too bad. Um, 75 defending and 77 heading. That is his main stat. So he's one of those centre-backs which just wins the headers, gets the job done and gets the ball out. Moving up to the other centre-back, we're going to have this player here, Colo. Colo, Colo, Colo Torre. The Liverpool centre-back. 80 pace. Um... 72 pace, sorry, um, 80 overall, 72 pace, 79 defending, 81 heading, medium attacking, medium defensive work rate, 6 foot, works fantastically well, decent amount of pace, and these two centre-backs work very, very well. Overall, actually, the defensive um, ability of this team worked quite well, I was pretty happy with it. Moving on to the left, we're going to have this player here, Tierney, um, he worked, again, another one of those players that didn't really look too good in terms of his prize, um, if you looked at, if you ignored his pace, he'd be a fantastic left back um, but um, 73 rated over silver rare player 71 pace is his downside but the rest of his stats look very very promising um, but um, I felt his pace wasn't actually too bad he's keeping up with players such as Jesus Navas and players like that the fast wingers so um, I was pretty happy with his job and overall the defense actually worked very well well um, also being bolstered by these two CDMs it worked fantastically well as well the first player I have here is going to be this player here Czech Teote the Newcastle CDM 79 rated overall 74 pace 74 dribbling um, 81 defending 82 heading 70 one passing high defensive work rate that's what you want in that CDM role and he it, he's a very very consistent player in terms of all the FIFA FIFA 12 is good FIFA 13 is good FIFA 14 is a very very good card as well and I definitely recommend him if you're looking for a discard price CDM moving on to the most expensive player of this World Cup squad builder for Ivory Coast and it's gonna be this player here Yaya Torre the Manchester City CDM midfielder absolutely tank in the middle should I just say uh, picked up a team of the season card very very recently and um, hence his reason why his price has actually gone up from what I bought him for but um, look at those stats those stats are phenomenal for any centre mid player um, very very good strong player as well high defensive work rate so he's not actually going to get up the field too much I was kind of expecting him to play a bit more like he does in real life um, bombing on forward but he was actually kind of a bit more reluctant to do that and actually helped up the defense work quite well but when you played him like that he worked fantastically well um, as you can see the stats 77 pace 79 dribbling 74 shooting 83 defending 80 passing 84 heading high defensive work rate six foot two four star weak foot three star skill moves you can't ask for much else from him he's a fantastic player indeed to have in that cdm spot Moving out to the right-hand side, first we're going to have here is going to be this player here, Inform Kalu. Uh, I believe this is his first Inform card, 80-rated right mid, um, 84 pace, 86 dribbling, 78 shooting, 71 passing, 75 heading. Um, as you know, he used to be a striker. I believe his second Inform card is actually a striker. Uh, Four-star skimmers as well, but he worked actually quite well. Um, the only problem I've personally found with him was the fact that he didn't get out the field too much, and that's due to his work rates. I think work rates in this year's FIFA is very, very um 
it will depend on how good your team actually performs. Uh, but um, sometimes he was there. Um, sometimes I felt I need a right mid. Where is this player to pass the ball out? And he just was too far back. So uh, that's probably the only downside of him, just his work rates. Moving out to the left-hand side, we're going to have this player here, Javinho, the AS Roma left-sided player. Um, I believe his default card is actually a left wing, so it cost me a bit more to have him in the left mid. But again, worked very, very well in the left mid position. 88 pace, 82 dribbling, 67 shooting, 72 passing, high attacking work rate. Um, Four-star skill moves, worked fantastic well. He's also got an in-form card, um, and uh, that, I can guess, is just an even better card. He's a very, very good left-sided player. Moving on to the camp here, first we have here is going to be a kind of surprising player. I decided to go for Didier Drogba in the camp spot, the Galatasaray Turkish ex-Chelsea player. Um, high attack and high defensive work rates was the reason I put him there. Um, I, w I was kind of not wanting a player like him to be up top, especially when he hasn't got the fastest of pace compared to some of the other strikers in the Ivory Coast team. Um, but 72 pace, 76 dribbling, 83 shooting, 86 heading. Uh, worked actually very, very well in that camp spot. Four stars, weak foot. Three star skin moves. Um, he's just doing the shots outside the box, passing, um, finding the balls. He probably wasn't the highest of passing you kind of want in the camp spots, but still worked very, very well. Um, holding up the play, waiting for the strikers to come, um, and worked fantastic well in that camp spot. He's also got an informed card, which you could put there as well. Moving on to the final player of the World Cup squad for Ivory Coast, and we're going to have this player here up top, Seydou Dumbia, the uh, CSK at Monaco, Moscow sorry, player. Um, plays in the Russian League, 91 pace, 85 dribbling, 76 shooting and 73 heading, 4-star weak foot, 4-star skill moves, medium attack and medium defensive is kind of annoying. If he had high attack and work rate, he'd be a phenomenal striker. Um, he's got the pace, he's got very, very good finishing personally, decent dribbling, decent heading as well um, and decent skill moves and weak foot. So uh, he's a very, very good card, but his work rate's kind of destroy me. It's a bit like Cavani. If Cavani had just high attack and work rates, he'd be fantastic. If Doombia had just a uh, high attack and medium defensive, he would be fantastic. But sometimes he was making those runs where he could find them over the top ball. He would get them 9 out of 10 because of his pace. But sometimes he just didn't make those runs and you kind of stuck. You had to kind of hold the ball and just kind of wait until you'd do them. But guys, that is the squad for the World Cup squad of Ivory Coast. Um, as you can see, we've got plenty of upgradable potential. You've obviously got in-form Drogba, in-form and team this season, Yaya Torre, in-form Javinho out on the left, in-form Kalu out on the right. You've also got the second in-form Kalu you could put up top if you're looking. But guys, that's the squad builder part of this episode make sure you stay tuned to the goals and review coming up just in a bit guys so i'll speak to you in a bit okay so let's move into some of the goals and the review part of this video for the world cup squad of ivory coast this squad was a fantastic squad with some very very nice finishing as you just see there from Sadu dumia the amount of long shots i scored with this team was absolutely phenomenal and that's where we're going to start off with the attack force this is definitely the best part of the team the defense did their job not too much else to talk about the defense they did their job picking up the clean sheets kick, picking up the headers defending well keeper wasn't too bad either the fullbacks sometimes got up the field especially a picking up some goals you'll see towards the end of the video but the attack force really stole the show with some absolute fantastic long shots indeed and I'll definitely definitely recommend you see any of the players in the attack but uh, let's start off with the striker Seydou Dumbia this guy scored a number of absolutely phenomenal long shot goals his finishing was insane um, he's got the pace and I'll definitely definitely recommend him as any striker you want guys up top um, pace long shots you name it he's a fantastic player to have moving on to the cam Didier Drogba this this is Drogba we're talking about. You expect him to be a powerhouse with fantastic shooting and dribbling. And that's exactly what he was. Playing in that camp sport worked fantastically well in this squad. And um, I would definitely, definitely recommend you try playing him in the camp spot. Because he obviously doesn't need to get up the field too much um, and uh, get the balls and hold up the play. He gets the ball outside the box, facing the goalkeeper. Smash it. That's going top corner. Moving on to the right mid and left mid, Kalou, probably a player that I didn't really enjoy playing too much just because of his work rates. He's not really feeling it too much out on that right-hand side, and sometimes I just felt he like he wasn't there to play the ball into. Moving on to the left-hand side, Javinho on the other hand, he was a fantastic left winger to have. Definitely, definitely recommend him. He had the pace, he had decent finishing as well, and also helped get the balls into the box. Moving on to the two CDMs, those two worked fantastically well in unison. Um, Teote, probably like a smaller version of Yaya. Yaya probably 
is it, you've got to remember he's not like he plays in real life. Um, he's more defensively minded in FIFA, sits back a bit more, but still gets up the pitch, gets a couple of goals, and also gets some fairly decent long shot goals as well. Teote, very, very similar play in the way he plays, um, just obviously a bit smaller and plays a bit more further back, in my opinion. But guys, that's the World Cup squad for Ivory Coast. You've obviously got a lot of players you can upgrade. You've got various informs to put. Team of the season, Yaya, as well, if you guys have the coins. Um, overall, I give the squad probably 8 or 9 out of 10. A fantastic and fun squad to play with. You've got some fantastic shooting players in there. Decent pace, decent dribbling. Defense did the job as well. So, guys, definitely, definitely recommend this squad. Play it, guys. Had some fantastic fun with it. And, um, yeah, just go and try it out, guys. But this is towards the end of the episode. If you like, if you like this episode, remember to hit that like button. Also, remember to subscribe. Stay tuned to the series. And any feedback in the comments would be much appreciated. Guys, this has been Grosh. Till next time, adios.